Hi, and welcome. We're the Weasley Sisters. This is episode 169. I'm Jessica, a.k.a. Naturally Nitty. And I'm Alina, a.k.a. Starnet. Today is March 22nd. Woo. This is our bi-weekly podcast. Bi-monthly. Bi-monthly. <laughs> bi-monthly podcast. We can't even manage to do it weekly. Um, podcast. Uh, if this is your first time watching, thanks for watching. If you're a regular, thanks for coming back. So pull up a chair, grab your knitting, and craft along with us. Got any mojo? Yes. You will be surprised. So I remember last time I was talking about my reducio, and I finished the um, the socks. I have to find pictures because I already sent them. So I this reducio swap was for uh, port keys. And my person, I, she already got it, had said um, she wanted, um, she thought a port key that was a knitting needle would be really cool. So I made her um, a bookmark, and it looks kind of dumb, but it's like a knitting needle. That's cool. Like, here, I have a picture of it in a book. That's cool. And I put... I put, like, ribbon on the top so that it would hang out the book. Sorry. My dryer. <laughs> so hang out the book and stuff, so that's what I did. And then this, and then here are the mini socks that I made. Very cool. Um, <clears throat> she was in Gryffindor. So here's, like, the total package I sent. It's kind of hard to see. So I did my two knitted stuff, and then in here is, like, sushi in there. It's, like, sushi, and she likes tea, so I put tea in there. And then I did a bunch of mini skeins. That's always fun. And then I gave her some buttons. One's a Weasley is our king button, and then one I took. You, you know, you order from Knit Picks once, and you get their magazine all the time, and they have cute little stuff in there, so I, like, cut it out and made it, made it a button, so it's, like, a knitting monster or and a sheep or something That's and then like that. crazy straws because it was like a port key so like it's any anything. random thing so i just the straws like turn colors when you drink from them and i thought that was fun so yeah but that's what i did so i finished those and i still have to turn those in i haven't turned anything in yet for my classes i also finished this hat that i was working on that's cute this is the hurricane hat pattern. It's really simple. It's just you you cast on eighty one stitches or eighty eighty, and then you do the ribbing, and then you cast on another. You increase, okay. and then you knit nine and purl one. So the the purl bump goes around. That's cute. To the top. So now this is I made baby mittens out of this sock. I mean this yarn, and she wanted them to match, so I had to like. I wound it into two balls so I could knit two at a time the same colorway. That makes sense. Because this, this yarn is um, Lion Brand Landscapes. Okay. And um, so it color changes um, really nicely. And it's like soft. I mean, you it's know. It's really fun I and bright too. I like it. Yeah. It's, it's acrylic. And I don't normally like acrylic. Um. It has its place. Yeah. So this was for, I got it originally for a baby mitten, you know, like without thumbs, mm -hmm. that small. So that was perfect. So then um, uh, uh, Peppermint Mocha Mama in my um, nest, she was asking if anyone wanted to make hats for a friend of hers uh, was diagnosed with cancer. So then I figured this is like really soft and easy care for cancer um, chemo. I mean, and it is really soft. Um, it has a, a little bit of a halo if you look. Yeah. So it was really, and it actually wasn't bad to nail with. But anyway, so the colors normally would go through the color range and wouldn't start over like this. But because I had two balls from before, I just, like, matched up. I'm like, oh, I ended with purple, so I matched it with purple, and then it ended up being the other way. Yeah. 
Hello? I hear you. Okay. Uh, I don't see you anymore, so I don't... Um, I don't know. The internet... My internet, I think, is being weird. Okay. Um, anyway, so that's... It just kind of, like, worked out this way. But I think it turned out really nice. So, uh, I actually really like this yarn. And they have, like, other colorways. This is the Boardwalk colorway. So, yeah. But I have to mail this off to her. I have to get her address, actually. So. It's... I still can't see you. You can't see me? I can't see you. There we go. Okay. Sorry if this is really crazy for the, the podcast. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. But anyway, so I have to mail off this hat. Okay. So that's all that I have my mojo on. That's good, though. I don't have any yeah. mojo. And I have to also turn this in. So, Pat, I think I think it turned out really nice. It did. It's cute. So, cute. Okay. Do you have any works in progress? Um, um, yes. I'm currently working on... Um, this chevron baby blanket. I really like those colors. Yeah. Um, it's for our sister Dawn's friend is having a baby in May. And these are her nursery colors. Only, actually, I think the, the teal's supposed to be a little bit lighter. But I did the best I could. Um, it's Knit Picks. Uh, the Mighty Stitch. It's acrylic. It's uh, 80%, I think, acrylic and 20% superwash wool. Yeah. It's worse to weight. Um, it's super soft. I like working with it. Um, it's fuzzy. I, I still didn't do a swatch and, like, wash it up to see how it holds up. But um, on the Knit Picks website, site they said it's like perfect for like you know any outerwear or whatever that you're gonna be you know like hats and mittens that you're gonna be washing a lot so hopefully it'll hold up good but I think it's cute the pattern is this chevron baby blanket um I did modify it a bit I added an extra whole panel because the blanket itself was like it seemed skinny and long so i I not that I wanted it square, but I didn't want it as, I don't know, uh -huh. weird yeah. shaped. And then I also added, um, I started out with garter Barter. stitch, and I added four extra stitches on each side to do a border on the side, too. So those are my mods. I think I have that on my project page. Um, but yeah, it's super simple. Um, easy to do and work on. But it's coming along. It looks really good. Yeah, I think it's cute. Um, that's pretty much all I'm working on. Okay. I am working on um, these camp out fingerless mitts. I like the colors, too. Bella wanted them. Now, it's kind of bright in here, so it's kind of, this is kind of washed out. It's, like, way prettier in person. Like, it's I'm well, what I'm seeing on the screen is washed out, but they're really pretty. Um... But I think if you look on Instagram, uh, some of the pictures I have of me working on them are pretty accurate. So this is um, the yarn I traded at uh, Indie Knit and Spin in February um, for a ba a, some fab dories, I think, for Fairy Tale Knits yarn. This is her Queen's Worsted, um, and the color is Mulberry Bush. So um, I really like her... Um, yarn so you know and she's a friend of mine so um but yeah so that's what I'm working on for Bella because Bella like helped me at that show and she just kept staring at the uh Dawn's yarn because she was right next door to me and she was I was like well we can trade you know like a bag or something for a skein of yarn and then it was missed but then she decided she didn't want to mess them up and wanted me to knit them so that's where I am. So I started them not too long ago, like a couple of days maybe. Um, and I kind of fibbed on the pattern because you're supposed to do a provisional cast on. But when I started them, I didn't have, I was 
um, not at home, and I didn't have extra yarn or a crochet hook, so I was like, screw that, and I just capped on, so there's like a seam, but it's no big deal. And then I kind of pulled out this because I figured I sh um, since our sister Dawn had her baby, I should probably finish this, this sweater for Joshua and then knit one for the baby and then mail them to them. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But um, I pulled it out. I haven't actually done much on it. I have probably a couple more inches before the ribbing and then I'll be done with the body and then I just have to add sleeves. And I wanted to... I was going to do, like, a color work with the, uh, the Superman logo, yeah. but it wasn't working out, and so I had ripped it and then restarted it. But I was, I've was i been playing around with getting, like, um, felt, like, wool felt from the store and just, like, sewing on felt. That could be Maybe cute. not wool, if it's going to, because this is washable, but yeah. um, just sewing on the patch. Maybe I'll do that. That'd be cute. So, yeah. But that's what I'm doing. I pulled it out to work on it. Actually, I pulled it out to use the, the bag. Because it was in this container. And then um, I wanted to put my campfire mitts in there. So, And then you're like, oh, I should work on this. Yeah. So then I left it out and it's telling me to work on it. But that's all that I am working on. That's cool. Um, have you been spinning at all? No, I've been looking at my wheel, though. I have, too. Um, <laughs> actually, I haven't really spun, but I brought it over and out so that maybe I would spin. Kind of like, uh, I'm working on this. For like, I, thought, I seriously, seriously thought about spinning last night when we were watching The Walking Dead. Um... But I then sat down and I haven't I haven't spun in a while. I missed it. I, I need to I need to start it up again. Um, speaking of which, kind of not really. Um, <laughs> I got an earbud from Mom of Peg on Ravelry, and <laughs> she made me sign up for to get a remember all to sign up for the house cup. That's next good. Time. So I signed up for that. So, um, and anyone who's watching this can also re remind her because I reminded her last time and she didn't sign up. I, you need to like remind me until I say I've signed up because sometimes like I see it and I'm like, yes, I do need to. And then I don't do anything about it. It's called laziness. <laughs> it's called when you see that remember all you quick go and sign up right Well, then. I will. Cause then I'll be on Ravelry. Like you texted me and I was like, oh yeah, I should. And I just never did it. And then it totally... Whatever. Anyways. Bah. So, that's... I haven't been spinning, but I want to. And this... Knitting this blanket has been, um... Good. Because I think I'm getting my knitting mojo back. Because I really didn't care before. I mean, I cared, but, like... I understand. I wasn't, you know, in the mood. It's hard to get... When you get out of the mood... It's hard to get back into it, even though you want to, and you miss it. Well, and I was working on my shawl, which I finally blocked, um, you know, here and there. So it wasn't like I wasn't doing anything at all, but I wasn't, like, cranking things out like I normally was. Yeah. Which no, I, I think is it. good, though. A break is good every once in a while. Yeah. So I really think absence makes a heart grow fonder with this kind of stuff. It does. Um, so, yeah. Moving on. I don't know what's next. Sewing. So I have been sewing a lot. Um, I actually don't have any... Uh, oh, I have like a picture that I took of my setup from this weekend to show you that you can kind of see some of the bags because I like straight up sold a bunch of bags. So there's bags there. That's cool. And I sold a bunch. I sewed a bunch and sold a bunch too. But I got new fabric, and um, so today is like my um, ironing day because I washed it all yesterday and ironed it. But I can show you some if you'd like to see. So I got these fabric because everyone like my thing is frozen a little bit. Am I frozen? 
I can't see you. I mean, I can oh. see you, but you're frozen. I can't see the fabric yet. I think it's my computer. I should have updated. I'm sorry. I apologize in advance. Yeah. Can you see me now? Yes. Okay. I just turned my video back on, on and off again. So I got this fabric. Ugh. It's elephant. And now it froze again. Oh, I don't know what's going on. I have full bars here. Okay, so I won't show you any fabric, but I got a lot of fabric. <laughs> This is a little ridiculous. Okay, can you see me now? I see you. Do you don't see me though? Do you? I so just I see if it's still recording. Is it? Yes. Just so that I have a ton of fabric. Well, now I can see you if you want to show it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Fabric, which is elephant. That's cute. And then just a plain, simple one to go with it. Um. Okay, so some I haven't, like, ironed. Like, this one I haven't ironed, and this is going to go with it. I'm for fabric fast. Ready? So I, like, went a little crazy because I always sell a lot of my fabric baskets, so I tried to get more. So I got this fabric to go. I, I like really that. like this one. It's really pretty. Um, and so this, these fabrics are heavier duty, like, they're canvas. So um, that's how they make the fabric baskets, like, Sturdier. Sturdier. Um, I use, like, interface too, but also uh, more user-friendly because it's, like, washes. It also washes, but it's heavier. So then I got this, which is just plain black and white. You know. It's pretty. And then I saw this, and I must have been on a brown kick or whatever because I really dug this one. It's and I just got a plain brown for the inside. Um, you know. A lot of times when I'm just going in there, I'm just kind of like in a mood and then I buy whatever. So, um, I also got, so I have a lot of stuff that, um, isn't ironed. So I got some of this because I had some of this that I made and I, they sold really fast. So I got more and this is what's going with it. That's of course I have to iron it. Um, and I have, like, a black and white zigzag to go for pockets and stuff. Oh, just kidding. It's not a black and white zigzag. I meant to get the black and white zigzag, but I got this, like, uh, quarter foil or whatever you want to call it to go with it. So then I found this one. Like, this is why I said it was might, might have been in a brown kick. So I got this bird fabric. Like a vintage -y look. And normally I don't go for that kind of stuff, but, um... I kind of, I don't know, I just liked it. Maybe because it's like a robin and spring. So this is what I got to go with on the inside. It's hard to see, but it's just like a window kind of shape. And then I got this for pockets. I really like this fabric. It's gold. That's cool. And I'm not normally a gold person, but lately I've been really like digging the gold. Like a lot of the fabric, I was like, oh, those would make really cool jamberry nails. Like... <laughs> You know, but um, I think there is actually one like this. So, anyways. But those that's the fabric that I got just yesterday. I have a bunch of fabric in my room still to um, cut and sew. Because I only have so much time being a one-woman show. So, right. But, you know. But, um, yeah. But that's what I'm doing today. Sewing. And I actually have a big order. Um. Kathy Zimmerman from Kathy's Creation is having, like, a, they have, like, a spring break retreat or something. Okay. And she gives them a swag bag, and she um, commissioned me to make uh, some pocket bags for That's her. Cool. And they're having a Peruvian theme, so I'm using that blue um, Michael Miller uh, pack animals, or pack something it's called. And they're basically llamas, and they're super cute. And um, so I'm making, like, 27 bags. Cool. Three wow. are sheep, and 24 are the llamas. So, um, so I'm making bags for her, and 
they're due like the first week of April. So I, that's what um, my goal is this week is to, I already have the most of them cut. I had to get more um, inside fabric because when I did the math, my, I'm not math, mathematically inclined. So um, when I did the math, I was like, okay, I need this many yards for this many bags. And then I forgot to count the fact that cotton shrinks when you wash it. And I always pre-wash my fabrics so that all my bags can be um, machine washed. Yeah. Um, so I forgot to count that cotton shrinks like crazy. And so my math didn't really work at all after I washed it and I was measuring it. And I was like, well, crap. So I had to order more fabric for the outside. And then I had to order, um, I forgot to pick up more for the inside. So I went back to, to uh, the local store here because I had to order the other stuff online. Um, so I went back and they didn't have the fabric that I had picked up before. Um, so I picked different fabric. So I have to cut like maybe five or six bags, like the insides and stuff. So um, that's what I have to do. I actually have to iron it. Too. But I mean, I had cut it and then homespun was coming. So I spent like two weeks just sewing for homespun and not worrying about anything else. And now that I'm back, I'm going to spend this week sewing my special orders. And then next, then in the next couple of weeks, I'll be sewing for Steel City because that's coming up in the middle of April. So, you know, like I have to like. You're such a busy lady. Yeah. I know, because I was like, I was going to do more yesterday, but I was so exhausted. It wasn't even funny. So, but anyways. That's cool. I still really like it. So, like, I'm not complaining. Like, I really enjoy it. So, it's not like. That's good, though. I you know, like, if you're doing it. something you don't like, you hate it. But, like, if you're doing something you like, it's not, it doesn't really seem like work. I enjoy it. So, you know. That's good. That's good. Okay, moving on. Any, um, I need more gym motivation. Like, I enjoyed it when I was working out, but then last week was so insanely crazy, and I just kind of fell out of the habit again. I need to get back into the habit, because I do want to start working out. I, what would you think about doing, um, I was, so I've been doing squats. Maybe not every single day, but, like, somewhat regularly but then I was thinking like to really up it what if we did like an hour of challenge? squats no no listen an every hour like challenge like at the top of the hour do like 10 squats or do 10 crunches or 10 like but every hour you're doing something so you're not going to get super like would that even like be beneficial I don't know I don't know. We should ask our resident trainer, Jaji no. Girl. I'm just thinking, like, because then at least you're, like, starting to do something, and it doesn't seem, like, that hard. I don't know. I've just been super, super lazy lately, so I was just thinking maybe that could help. Well, Like, every uh, hour you're awake, you do s some tiny little thing. And, like, yeah, probably. The, and then the next week after that, you add, like, five more onto it. So you're doing 15, you, like, and then you gradually, I don't know. I think that would probably work. So I don't know if I could do that many squats in one day and walk the next. Well, maybe not just all squats. Like, you know, do planks or, like, do different things at different hours. It doesn't always have to be. Yeah. We'll talk well, to let's, Jaji. Well, let's wait to hear from Jaji what she thinks. Yeah. And then go from there. Okay? Okay. That sounds good. But, I mean, I did enjoy when I was doing the work, the riding the bike. I did right. enjoy right. it, actually. Like, it's just, like, for some reason, I have this mental block, like, getting to the bike and sitting on it and then starting the workout. Like, <laughs> I hear you. once I'm in it and afterwards, I, I'm fine. It's just getting there and doing it. I don't know what my problem is. So, anyways, moving on. Binging. I've been doing a lot of reading. How about you? I... I watched like half the season of originals this past 
week. Oh, okay. I so still the have newer more one that I'm of not the even... latest one. I had like sixteen recorded, so I've like watched like eight of them. I need to keep oh, going. I'm still on last season, so it gets crazy. They always like come up with newer and like older things. Like, well, I really that. like I haven't even kept up with it because I was on Netflix, and then we got, you know, we got. Uh, direct TV, but I still keep forgetting when to, when shows are on. Like, I'm just more acquainted for binge watching. Okay, so... And I hate commercials. Are you caught up on The Vampire Diaries at all? I stopped watching after they, Elena left. Okay, so so the new season is, she's gone. Yeah. And, like, it's crazy. They keep, like, flash-forwarding to, like, three years from now. And, like, it's... It's just weird. The only show that I've ever watched that did a flash forward well was Fringe. And that one annoyed me, though. But it still annoyed me, too. But they oh, they did it well, but it annoyed me. Well, they didn't completely. They just, like, at the beginning or the end of an episode, they'll show, like, two minutes of, like, three years from now. Of, yeah, like, what's I don't going know. On. So you're, like, I really confused? watching it because... That's why I stopped watching it, because she left, and she was the whole point of the show. Like, yeah, I love Damon. I do. And um, I like the whole story. Like, I didn't like her with Stefan. I liked her with Damon. Will she ever come back, or is she just done with the show? She left the show, so they wrote her out. She, she might come back, but I highly doubt it. So that's kind of why I'm like, eh. You know, like, when your main character, because the whole show was about her. Yeah, but she could be kind of annoying sometimes. She um, totally was annoying. <laughs> what main like, totally. what main girl isn't? Oops, I'm going to like knock my But I liked I liked her with Damon. Like yeah. I yeah. liked that the brief part with Damon and I liked her as a vampire. Um anyways. <laughs> anyways. Um watching well, Okay, else? so I watched all of that. Like I had a whole season of that to watch like the latest and I watched that and then I went to Originals, but they sometimes like cross cross paths so yeah. like at the end of the vampire diaries they like go to new orleans or like someone does and like i was like huh so i'm like i should probably watch it's just confusing yeah so i'm not caught up with the originals either because um i Class after the favorite. first season i'm in the second season and um i may be like two or three into it and I just, I don't know. I don't really like what's her name, Davina. I don't like her. Oh, she's a snotty teenager. Yeah, and I think that's why I stopped watching it, because I can't handle it. She's like, not I can the handle main it. part. I know, but I just can't. I, oh, but I did, I, I'm at the part where um, um, I'm only like two or three into that second season, because or third season. Are we season. on three or four seasons now? I forget. Okay, I'm on whatever season was last season. So that's okay. third. Um, I think it's the third. Uh, like, I I am on the part where, like, the original, not the originals, but the um, their mom and brothers are in, like, other bodies. Oh, okay. That's where I am. Like, and, they're, and you know who they are, and they're, like, worming their way into everything. That's where I am. But I haven't really watched that. So I actually watched um, The Mysteries of Laura. I was telling you about it last week. It's like, do you remember Will and Grace, um, Deborah Messing? She is there. She's like a cop. And she's like a single mom um, of twins. And it's like, it was like, I needed something that wasn't like super dark because I had just finished watching Jessica Jones, which is like a dark series. So I needed something happier that I could watch and like had a storyline, but was like still interesting. And um, um, so I started watching Mysteries of Laura. Um, normally, when I do that, I'll go, I'll go to Bones or whatever. But um, there, Bones is on like eight or nine seasons, and it, the storyline is kind of like okay, you know what I mean? Like it's good, but at the same time, I'm just kind of annoyed with. I'm not annoyed with it. I'm just, I think it's kind of stale right now. So I, I kind of stopped watching it, which I do still really like that show. Like they killed off the one character that I was really upset about. And I think that might be it. Anyway, 
So I was watching Mysteries of Laura. Great, ep, great. And I, I like seriously binge watch that like straight up. It's a binge. Netflix one. Yeah, it's really good and it's funny and um, it's just it's just funny. It's good. It's like a cop show, but it's funny too. So, it's... and then um, I've been watching Daredevil, which is also a dark show. And The Return. So it, it Netflix uh, mentioned it to me. And so I was like, I don't know if I'm going to watch it. Because it kind of reminded me of that um, sci-fi series that I started watching. But it, it got stale too when I stopped. And it, was, it wasn't The Return. It was uh, something where like aliens took them in their back. And then supposedly aliens took them. It was a sci-fi show. But now this one is called The Return, and these people, like, died, and they're coming back. And it's, like, really engaging. Like, this one, the the first girl that comes back is a twin, and her twin is, like, in college now, and she's still, like, uh, 13 or 14. Mm -hmm. She came back because she died, supposedly, like, five years ago, and came back. And it's just kind of crazy. So that one's really good. And then I started watching this show called Legends. Now, I like The Born Identity, like that movie. If you like that, you'd like this show because it's like this guy's like an undercover agent guy. And he gets like what they call a legend. And that's like who he is acting. It's like his backstory of to go undercover. Uh, but he's not sure who he is. Like he's kind of cracking up. Um, so, yeah, but that one's that's what I've been watching. So those are all good shows to watch. Like if you can pick them up on Netflix or whatever. Um, yeah, but I've been reading a lot. Um, I mean like a lot, a lot. And like when I say binge watching, I mean like only one or two at a time. Like the mysteries of Laura, I did way more because I was ironing a whole bunch. So I like watched a bunch at a time, but the other ones, they're like maybe one at a time. So not binge watching, just watching. Just <laughs> all oh, watching one, one, um, and then watching another one the next day. You know, kind of binge watching. No, I don't have to wait a week. So, but I've been like reading one. a lot, and I, I'm currently reading the third book in the Cirque du Freak, which is a, a young adult, young juvenile fiction. Um, the kid's like 13 or something, so it's not bad. Um, it's interesting. Like, very interesting. Um, but I finished the second one. Um, and then I read this series called Virals by Te um, the lady who wrote the Temperance Brennan books wrote this young young adult uh, book series called Virals. And I know I like her writing style for the um, Bones books, but I, I wasn't sure because it is young adult and I try to stay away from them um, just because I have enough drama. But I was like, I'll try it. And so I read the virals. And it's basically um, Temperance Brennan. It's in the same universe. So Temperance Brennan's um, nephew has a daughter. And it's her. It's about her. So it's her great niece or whatever. But basically her niece. And you don't really get to see her in the story. But it's all about this girl. So it's like science-y. Like she's smart, science-like. But also, it's, like, supernatural. Like, they get um, exposed to something, and they, they, like, transform. Their DNA is transformed and stuff. So it's kind of interesting. And it's, like, a, a mystery, too. Like, a whodunit type of thing. So it's really cool. And I really like her writing style. And so I read Virals, and I was like, this is so good. I'm going to read the second one right away. Because normally I take a break because I have, like, enough teenage angst. There's not a ton of te There's not much teenage angst in there. Um so it's like, it's the, and the, I think the difference is this character that it's about, she's like a strong, smart girl, and she's not wishy-washy or knows what she wants, and she's going for it kind of type yeah. of thing. Like, so, and she's smart, and it's pretty cool, and she has, like, good friends, and, you know, so I thought it was really good. So I'm waiting for the third and fourth book from the library still. And then I'll read those. But they're really good. Um, I can't. Um, and Kathy Reichs is the author. Sorry. I forgot to say that. Oh, and then I read Summer Night, which is a, a Harry Dresden book. Uh, it was the fourth or fifth book in the series. And it was really good. I forgot how good that series is. 
And then I finished um, The Life and Death, the Twilight flip one. How'd you like it? I have to say, I kind of liked it better than the whole series. Isn't that bad? I don't know. I just liked it better. Um, I think it was because you didn't get the... um, Teenage angst. (laughs) Yeah, and it was from a guy's perspective, so she, you know, like... I when like you read Twilight, you hear it from a girl's perspective, so it was all, like, Me. over-analyzing everything. And this one, he was just kind of like, oh, okay, or he would be like, why did that happen? And she would say whatever to him, and he would be like, okay. And it wasn't, like, over-analyzed, if that makes sense. Plus, I liked that they skipped New Moon and Eclipse, because those two books were kind of annoying. Like, the whole love triangle was kind of there, but not really. Yeah. And, um, yeah. So it was kind of like, almost like what she wanted to write originally. Yeah. With the roles reversed. No, it was cool. I liked it. I really liked it. Like, except for like the names were horrible. Like <laughs> the names tripped me up. I was like, kept like cringing every time I'd get yeah. to them. But no, I actually really liked it. it and I actually, I was talking to, to Madison about it because she read Twilight, you know. Mm-hmm. And I was like, it was really good. And I was like, I actually liked it better. And she was like, well, did you like it better? She said this to me. She's like, did you like it better because it was a better story or the writing was better? And I'm like, ah, it was probably because the writing was better. Because I think she's grown as a writer, so it was, like, better, which is probably why I liked it better. Well, and because she could do a guy's point of view. Yeah. I think I think if she would have written Twilight now with her experience, I think it would be better, if that makes sense. Because there was more stuff explained. Like, I really liked how um, Alice, uh, what was his name in the book? A, a, Alec? No. I, I read it, like, way long ago, in November. I Anyways, the Alice character was a boy with an A name, and I can't even think of it. But he, they explained his power, like how he sees all the futures and the past. And he, like, knows, like, because, you know, in Twilight, she says to Bella, oh, we're going to be best friends. And then I think Alec, I don't know. But he was like, I know we're going to be best friends. And I, it's almost like we've already been friends because I know what's going to happen type of thing. Like, they explained his powers better. Yeah. And it, I thought it was really good how they explained that. Um, well, and she lived... Okay, so she's lived with, like, writing all four of those books and knows the characters way better now. So then she can, yeah. like... Yeah. I would assume... I, I mean, really- I'm not a writer, but, like, I'd assume if you spend so much time with a character, you'd be able to rewrite the first book better yeah yeah but anyway so i really really liked it like so if you get a chance and you want to read it go for it because it's better and i think a lot of the stuff that people had issues with you know with bella like being so helpless and and couldn't do anything without edward you know yeah like and this one because it's a total role reversal it was just kind of interesting yeah I think I read, I don't know if it was in that book or maybe it was in her like note to the author or to the reader, um, but how she wanted to just show you that it could work with, you know, role reversals, right? Yeah. Like Maybe she got actually, mad I think at it everyone was kind of, calling Bella whiny. <laughs> yeah. But. I also think too, like it was good too, because like um, traditionally guys are like the protectors so it was kind of cool to see uh uh what what did they have the girl name edith oh yeah edith um she was like this small little petite thing but she was like this like super strong protector so i thought that was cool but she kind of had the same things as edward like oh i'm evil and horrible and you know yeah cool so anyways moving on that's the like 10,000 books that I've been reading you're funny um I haven't been reading anything in particular I I think I want to find some audio books and get back into that and then 
spirals. I'm serious. You would like them. That sounds good. Kathy Wright. I like them. I mean, I really like them. <laughs> and I usually like what you like, so. And there was a uh, the one character in there, because they're, like, all kind of smart nerds. Like, science, like, their parents are super smart, so they're, like, smarter, too. It always makes me feel so stupid. <laughs> yeah, but it's not, like, in a bad way, but they're kind of, like, nerds. And so the one guy was, you know, it was just kind of, the one guy, like, just seriously cracked me up. His name is, um, they call him High. His name's Hiram. But he, like, his, like, one-liners in the book, just, I was cracking up at him. They were just so funny. So but anyway. Funny. Back to anything. Let's go to random randomness. So, randomly, how's things? <laughs> um, Leah turned 11. What? Um, I totally missed it. Tell her sorry we're late. She, well, okay, so she, this whole time, our sister Dawn was pregnant, right? So, she just had her baby, but she had it on Leah's birthday. But the whole oh. time she was pregnant, Leah's like, because she was due in March, and Leah's birthday's in March, and she's like, she should have it on my birthday. I'm like, Leah, you can't really, like, it's probably not going to happen. Well, it happened. <laughs> so she so was, so, was that like the best birthday present she ever? She thought it was cool. Yeah. Um, she wanted a birthday buddy. Um, but yeah, so that was exciting. Um, but that um, is like we always let them pick like, we don't do like friend birthday parties. I'm that horrible person. And like sometimes the kids give me crap about it. But. Whatever. We do, like, one person sleeping over, except for this time, Bella invited, like, her whole class. And that was not done it. Like, it's just, I remember, even from, like, when I was a kid and doing some of those sleepovers, there was always so much fights and, like, angsty. Like, if you invite, like, different crowds, it, like, ugh. I just, no. We celebrate birthdays as a family. Um, so we let the kids pick what they want for dinner. And what, uh, and I make whatever cake she wants. She wanted ice cream cake, so I made, like, dirt dessert type of thing. So Andy's birthday is coming up, and he likes ice cream cake. It was really good. Um, but no, so she, but for dinner, she picked, she's like, I don't know what I want. So I was, like, listing off different things. So she picked me to make stuffed shells, which I haven't made in a long time, and um, a Caesar salad. And it was, like, really good. And then ice cream cake. And I'm like, this is, like, the best dinner ever. <laughs> it's like, I remember when Mom used to do that for us, and I would always be like, subs. We would have subs, because I always wanted subs. That's funny. Yeah, well, she wanted to go out to, like, uh... I can't even think what that is. A restaurant. I, why can't I think of the name? I don't know. It's one with steaks. Anyway, she, I think she wants to go on it because she wanted to sit on the, on the, um, I can't even think, the saddle, because they make oh. you, like, this yee-haw for your birthday. That's hilarious. But, um, I'm like, we're not going out to eat, because that gets so pricey when you get a lot of people. Yeah. And, and then, then if we go out for her, it's like, everyone's going to want to go out. We don't go out to eat that much. Anyways, um, so we said no, but then, you know, she liked her dinner, what it was, but yeah. Okay. I think it's a fun tradition to make what they want. Yeah. No, but it was good. And um, she wanted not Ugg boots, but, you know, like the leather with furry yeah. fake ones. Boots. Because um, she always tries to wear mine. Yeah. And I'm like, no, they're too big for you. So I go to the store and, like, I swear two weeks ago I was at the store, even, like, Payless, and, like... They had them all over the place. We yeah, go, but it's not. We go, like, a couple days ago, and everything's gone. I'm like, are you serious? Like, two weeks, it's, like, spring, and, like, let's take all the boots away. So I was, like, piss off. But um, then I saw they had them in women's sizes. So I asked the ladies there, I'm like, what size is a, si a kid's, like, a girl's size six in women's? And she said, oh, that's an eight. I'm like, what? Like, she, Leah's really in a five, but I was going to get her a bigger size so she could wear it yeah. for next year, too, because it's almost, you know, going to be summer. Um, so I ended up giving, getting her a seven and a half in women's. Do they fit her? Yeah. I mean, they're boots, so I don't know, like, if shoes would be different, but, like, she's getting so big and tall. 
It's oh, crazy. I was going to say, we went and got Bella new sneakers because hers were yeah. bad. What does she wear? Eight and a half. In women's? Yep. That's crazy. That's like, I wear oh, nine. She can wear my shoes. Like, I wear eight and a half. That's so weird. I'm not ready Madison, for this. There's nine. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Like, because Bella was, like, complaining her shoes were too tight. So we tried, like, a women's seven. I can hear you. No, I can't hear you. Oh. How about that? I hear you now. Do you see me? Yeah. I don't know how this is going to be with the whole recording thing, so hopefully, hopefully it's not horrible. Okay. Anyways, cool. um, so she's wearing eight, eight and a half. That's crazy. Oh, so, yeah. And I blame Andy because he's tall, and Bella is almost as tall as Madison, and Madison's almost as tall as me. So, I blame Andy. It's really crazy. It's funny, though. Gabe is, like, so short in his class compared to his, like, classmates. Um, but he's still growing a lot. Like, his pants are getting so short. And same with Leah. Well, Leah, like, they weighed themselves the other day. She weighs more than Gabe. <laughs> I'm like, don't let it bother <laughs> you. I'm like, you're fine. Wow. Uh, uh, it's crazy. But Leah's always been my solid, solid child. Yeah. Even when she was a little baby, she was chunky. I was looking at pictures. <laughs> oh, she was so cute and chubby. Um, anyways. But yeah, so we celebrated her birthday. We've had, like, some days of spring where, like, Truben has been hounding me to ride bikes to school all the time. But then, like, the next day will be, like, 30 degrees. Like, so we have, like, 60-degree weather and then, like, 30-degree weather. I want it just to make up its mind. <sighs> been doing that here, too. We're supposed to get, like, snow Thursday? A blizzard. Yeah. At one point, I heard 12 to 16 inches. Oh, I hope not. Which I think that's a lot. Um, but I was just like, ugh, no. It actually, it snowed on Saturday. Um, we had our annual, our neighbors do a Easter egg hunt, either the week before or, you know, around Easter. So we did it Saturday, but it was like snowing and freezing and, I mean, it wasn't like sticking or anything, but it was cold out and we're like searching for eggs. It was so fun. Um... I totally fail at Easter. Um, I didn't, I was like, oh, is Palm Sunday this Sunday? Talking to Andy this morning. He's like, no, it was last Sunday. Like, and I'm like, oh, so Easter is this Sunday? And he's like, yeah. It's like this Sunday. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Okay. This morning. Oh. And he was like, yeah. I was like, oh, well, oh. Okay, I suck. So, yeah. I suck. We, I, but I think Madison and Abella are a little too old for stuff. Like, Easter egg hunts, I don't think they would want to do them. Like, I can ask. For what, but, egg hunts? Yeah. I don't put it on. Our neighbors do it. They have all, like, my kids are all the big kids. But I mean, taking them to one is what I mean. Oh, I don't yeah. think oh, they no, would It's just because it's in our neighborhood. Um, so, uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I really suck. We were thinking about trying to get away for Easter, but then we have to put the dog somewhere and it's just a bunch of... So we're, I think we're just going to, like, do nothing at home. Which is kind of lame, but whatever. But, um... So, this past Sunday was Holmes Fun Yard Party, which is crazy, and it's a lot of fun, and I love doing it every year. And um, I get to see a bunch of uh, friends, so it's always a lot of fun. But I totally, it's always so crazy. I forgot to post a picture before saying, oh, hey, come visit um, on my Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And so then I posted it later. 
But I, like, seriously, like, faked out on all of that. But it was a lot of fun. We went. This year we took Madison and Bella. Like, they came to help. Um, so that was really nice. And um, friend, my friend Pam from Germany came and met us. Um, and she had her kids. And, you know, we usually go out to eat afterwards. It was a lot of fun. That's cool. I didn't actually buy anything. No treats? No treats. I don't normally... Because that show is so crazy, I don't normally get time. Um, but I like talk to a bunch of people. And That's fun. That's fun. I'm always so jealous Madison, of all your pictures. Yeah, it's fun. But Madison, um, this whole time, so for school she has a baby, flower baby. Like it's a flower, sack of flower, wrapped up in a blanket, and um, so. Uh, she brought it with her because she has to have the baby with her, you know? So she brought it with her and she's like knitting a, a mitered square blanket and it's like a strip right now. So she tied it into a sling and had the baby around her. People kept asking her, is that a real baby? She's like, oh, it's a flower. It was so funny. Does she have to like feed it and change it or just carry it? Well, carry it? supposedly, but it's a, fl- it's a sack of flour. So, you know. But it was funny. So she's been carrying that around like all week. I didn't know schools actually did that. Uh, I didn't either. I've always heard and about it. I, I, I think, I don't know. I think an egg would have been better because it's more breakable. But she came home yesterday and said the one guy in her class um, who wasn't really caring, like his flower stack exploded. Like, because he wasn't taking care of it. So it like. Is <laughs> uh, and he did surgery, so he like duct taped it back together. <laughs> That's funny. But um, she's been doing really good with that. It's just kind of funny because, like, I mean, I understand why they do it, and taking care of a baby is a lot of work. But I think it's a little there's a little difference with like a flower and a baby. But she babysits, so she knows how to do this. Yeah, you know, and. Um, so there's, like, that. But I think, like, they almost needed, like, a baby alive or something. So you were, like, having to feed it and change it type yeah. of thing. You know. But anyways, um, it, it's good. Like, it's good because, like, it makes – I think it makes kids think twice before they do something because they're like, oh, my life – your your life totally changes when you have kids. Like, yes, it does. <laughs> but I also think showing kids – a real birth will deter them from stuff too. Like make them think twice before they do anything, you know, mm-hmm. you know, cause who wants to go through that pain? Not I. Yeah. <laughs> oh, anyways. But, um, I got my new ply magazine. Me too. The cotton issue. And I was, I, I grabbed it and I was going to take it with me in the car to read but I totally left it here on the way to home. So I haven't actually read it. Like, I yeah. flipped through a little I bit. I just paged through it a little bit. I haven't read anything yet. So, like, I actually have not really spun on it. So I think it's going to be a pretty interesting. I haven't either. I actually have some, though. Um, Me too. That I just have not used. Maybe I will. Um, I hear it's kind of tricky, though, because it's so short. We'll see. Um, I think that's about it. Are we... I didn't even look at my notes. I don't have anything else. I don't think I have anything else to talk about. No. Right. So we'll see you guys in two weeks. Yeah. Bye. Bye.